Lekken Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of June 2024. They're like mangoes growing and also avocados that have been moved from this little nursery area into the land and also you can see that there's still water here because where the I didn't fill up the holes yet with the fresh soil which I need to do because if I don't all these rocks will start tilting into and it will just drop into the land there because of the landslide and on the way here into the bathroom it's will get a little little uh, fresh fresh up because there are termites attacking the area like here and also under the the washing machine so we want that whole area to be uh, cement and maybe this uh, will be moved to to this area but let's see and this will also be freshened up so new times hello <laughs> here we have the water drinking water fresh water station and also here we now have a table where we can have a little nursery for tomatoes and other exciting plants so it's easier to keep an eye on and water and it's just easy to maintain and then we can uh, plant more this is my little tomato project uh, mulberries mulberries coming up they will ripen very very soon these are very nice these uh, mulberries mulberries are giving fruit and are ripening up all the time and I snack on these every day but they're not so super tasty for some reason and Lek made a great job of clearing this area because it was completely inaccessible before all the branches were on the ground almost and yeah so they got pruned very well and I think this uh, <laughs> mulberry is quite exciting because it feels like more like not a mulberry bush or something it's like a mulberry tree now and it's like giving nice shade to one Nam Dog Mai here also <laughs> very rare in the garden right now these mulberries when, when it looks like this it's ready to eat but it's early in the morning and I didn't brush my teeth yet and I didn't drink enough water so I will not eat it yet later or like will eat it these are fun to eat <laughs> but also very tasty oh, another one here look A ripe one and as we approach the area with a small gardening the, the Greg gardening type of garden we also have this mango tree that is producing quite well and in this area something new is that I'm actually planting much more beans so they will help fixate some nitrogen and as you can see somebody forgot to take some of the old beans so I covered them up with soil and now they are just like growing very well here and because there was not so much rain for the last couple of days I watered this area yesterday evening and now it looks like very very wet and lush and we have re two really nice chili plants here like very small one here but cute and with nice chilies and also this other chili plant with these small chilies which are very potent, strong um, some of them are a bit bigger but very nice to have some chilies in the garden 
sometimes the the birds just eat them all and in other areas the um, it might be too dry so we don't have uh, chilies so when we have chilies in this area it's very nice and Lek has informed me that this asparagus these asparagus they I, we shouldn't remove the old ones we should keep some of the old ones because this is a different type of asparagus than in Europe so when we keep these um, the idea is that we will get more fresh shoots similar to bamboo shoots the idea with bamboo is that you have the plant and you also have the the old shoots going up like the old bamboo and they will do the photosynthesis and put sugars into the soil of course and energy to the bacteria and to feed the plant and to give more shoots but I don't really know how this works so it's still a little bit debatable should we remove all these old plants when they grow up so every time one shoots up just remove it that's what I would do because that's what I see from Europe so maybe this is a different type but let's see right now I would expect more production and there are only a very few of them coming up right now maybe it's too early but let's see, see what what happens later when more rain come and yeah I think the main season will be around July, August, September, October maybe. I had a project here with pumpkin which died during the last couple of months. The bean I planted here and made the they are they're producing well here. So there's like a bean here. A lot of beans have been produced that also uh, can be used for planting new beans right now for example for example this one I want to harvest this one oh. oh and this guy is flowering I'm not sure what this is but it's super exciting it's a it's a it's a citrus but I'm not sure which what kind of citrus it is if you like Jack this is really a good time to come and eat jack. There's just so much jack and this is another tree as you can see and there's just so much and this one needs to be removed. This is already old. And nearby more jack and as you can see there's like so much jack and look, look at that huge one. So much jack around here that we just I mean, we, they just die around here, or just they become compost. And also a great surprise is the caviar lime. Look, look at the caviar lime. Here, how many there are. This is the first year they're producing like this. It's mosquito time. There's, uh, it's quite wet. I'm not super wet and they're just like in the mornings and in the evenings like around six it's like very they're very active so we need to have some protection or go into the mosquito nets but yeah uh, it's nice anyway the ones who have been watching carefully this huge longan tree has zero flowers and has zero fruit the dry season has been very rough, so it seems like some trees, or many trees, will not produce any longan this year. Pea flowers for the tea. The sweet bamboo has started shooting, but not a lot, but we already started eating some. And the chaya fans have started harvesting. So see, see how much I can eat <laughs> during the first two weeks coming back here. And look at how lush it looks here and how horrible it looks <laughs> when, I, when I start pruning it and eating it. And the small entrance. And more chaya fence. Very good greens every day. Steamed. And the road. I managed to support this little lime and raise it again because it fell down. But next to it here, around here, oh, whoa, I didn't even see all these mangoes here. I need to bag these. This lime also collapsed 
probably because it was so dry and then suddenly a lot of rain came and then the weight of the new fruit or new branches or something it's just too big to be supported by this if it's the it wasn't planted deep enough so I tried to support it but I'm not sure if it uh, we will be able to raise it again but let's see maybe when uh, the next if there's like very heavy rainfall we will be able to if we are more people I cannot lift this alone the coffee diatomaceous earth mix uh, to cover these holes when we get attacked by by worms uh, and also here it seems like this is dead um, worm already so it seems like diatomaceous earth mixed with coffee and a little bit, little, little bit of water and make a paste and put it in these holes it's really really good currently this is my favorite because I also want to, to get you guys to see the tree that has been um, almost eaten by these worms that attack the core of the trees and this is like the most amazing thing that has happened the tree is still alive and it's like regenerating near the, the house we have like these are really good mangoes while bagging them two two dropped and I thought okay these are just completely unripe and I cannot do it, but I just saved them and they ri ripen up uh, after a week and then they were delicious and also these these jackfruits are very delicious when they you can just know when they're ripe when they start to smell good from this tree the jackfruits are really really nice I like it this is the washing machine it been moved and this is the problem the termites are moving into the washing machine from the bottom so we are getting ready for the cement here's the development in the bathroom one o'clock in the afternoon this area is almost set we need to put in some metal things on top and then we can lay in the cement and make a slope going out so the water will go out like from the back there or something like that and the the sink has been moved to here we just need to set up the water pipe it's three o'clock in the afternoon and the cement mixing is done and the first layer has been laid um, and we are just exhausted and look at this tree it was completely eaten also from the inside but it seems like it fills itself up somehow it's just it looks like it was completely dead but it is has regenerated somehow and it has last year it had more fruit this year only two mangoes but the tree otherwise looks quite healthy so I'm very surprised and very pleased and on the other side of the mango tree we have some compost maybe it helps and this is like both the banana graveyard and the jackfruit graveyard because these three trees <laughs> jackfruit trees are like producing like crazy and they're like a lot of old jackfruits hanging when we're here alone we don't have time to take care of everything by ourselves and the pineapple almost ready and an unripe pineapple and similar to the longans the avocado this avocado had a lot of flowers but because of the very very dry period there's zero zero flowers zero fruit left this is how it looks past 6 p.m. Our fruit cage filled with mangoes. These are bought mangoes. These are from the garden. The reason why we're buying this year is because yeah, we don't have a lot on the trees. And look at these beautiful bananas. Wow. Second level bananas. Yeah, now all around in the garden, small plants are popping up because the beans and pumpkins have been planted around the compost piles pumpkin pumpkin and uh, some bean and pumpkin and one bean two beans over there 
And that, I think, already came out from the compost by itself, so that's very cool. Uh, yes, only one left of the papaya trees, and I don't know if it will survive. The, the rest of the papayas are not doing great. Maybe it will revive or it will die too. Let's see what happens. But in the background there are two that are doing quite well and the one over there is also doing quite well and the one in the my little garden is also doing quite well. Lex project, I'm not sure, is this chili or something like that? It's a little bit different style of gardening than, than my with the, all the weeds. And I think there's a fig there still alive. Approaching the wooden house and this is cassava and I used this plant as a support for this mango when it had mango mangoes last year see still having all kinds of attacks here and but it fell down by itself so I needed to just pull it out from the soil over there and it just gave me cassava for two days so that was nice and I think that red cavendish is giving fruit soon, so that's also very cool. But I don't think they are ready yet. They look a little bit not super happy. Like the whole, this banana it doesn't look happy at all. Future probably there will be cement under the, the, the wooden house. But for now, this is like a nice little area. When walking up, you will get this view, which is nice. Also, nice chairs and view of the garden and of course inside all these windows can be open so it will be nice. And But otherwise it's really nice with uh, new beds and new mattresses. So we're ready for visitors. We are hoping that we will get the rain soon. We can also see that because people think that rain will coming and uh, will come and it has been dry for two days so they've been burning a lot around uh, and I hope the rain will wash everything away and even though people are burning right now because we have so fresh air it doesn't really matter much except when it is happening then it's just and you're nearby but otherwise this view every day I'm almost here every day just to check out because it changes every day it's different and it's very nice um, you can check out the whole garden you can see the mountains you can uh, see how much smoke there is and right now the mountains are just super clear so it's really really nice and also this area is marked for a future water pool or natural pond or whatever and you probably could can swim with it I'm not sure when this project will start, but uh, I hope we will be able to dig out the hole during this rainy season. And then let's see how much we can establish before the dry season starts. That really looks like rain. So if you're a rain dancer, if you can uh, dance and there will be rain, please come. We need uh, more rain.